All right, all you guys out there in Hollow Point land, we're doing a quick box opening video here. Oh, we got this beast in the mail the other day. Is the AEA 50 cal repeater. Okay, this is the 50 cal challenger. And it is a beast. As always, we've got this beautiful bullpup stock. We've got, if I can do this with my gimpy arm, we've got the action, actually the whole thing that goes into the stock. Uh, only one screw assembly required. So let's put this thing together. Uh, once I figure out how to put it down without injuring myself. Uh, yeah, let me go get my tools. I have the tools. One Allen wrench, preferably five sixteenths. I think five sixteenths. So, we'll put this in my lap like thus. Drop this bit. Well, before I put this in, let me show you some, some interesting parts here. There's your trigger and safety. Here's the linkage that goes back to the trigger, to the, I guess you'd call it the actuator assembly, the, the mechanics, the hammer that cracks this baby open and lets the air fly. So it, it's kind of an interesting setup. Uh, it's bolted, it's pretty solid and strong all the way around. Pick rail on top. So let's get to dropping. As I said, we'll hold this with one hand. I essentially only have one hand drop it on see it fits pretty smooth drop in the old allen screw set this up now this is the uh, I guess you call it the early uh, pre-release rifle that's been floating around from air gun personality to air gun personality and it finally has made its way to moi so there we have it the 50 cal challenger now this is a true 50 it is a 495 to 498 diameter bullet uh, right now we're sizing to 495 i may try some 496 7 and 8 later on but we're work we're going to start with 495 that's how we do everything we start at one end work our way to the other check resistance how the power flow is how the bullet and the speed with the chronograph we just don't say oh i'm going to pick one out of the sky we actually do a lot of diameter testing to see which one works best so that's what we're going to start with um, so let's look at some other features okay as i stated earlier this has got the pick rail up top, so if you've got any night optics or anything like that, it's going to fit with no problem. The cycling of the bolt, there's a catch release right here that you push down on, and then that releases the bolt. Uh, it just it pulls back and cocks, and then as you go forward to lock it down, it locks right in. That's a safety, so this thing can't come backwards. Uh, with a burst of air um, it has a 24 inch barrel uh, here's a lock nut right here that locks the barrel in place into the receiver it's shrouded the overall length is about 42 inches it weighs just under 13 pounds uh, without a scope on it uh, the mat it has a as a magazine uh, which I don't have yet uh, I believe it's that it, it drops right in here um, just off the top of my head it looks pretty solid uh, it feels just like the other challengers did uh, it seems to cheap nice it's got a little plastic covering on this side so your 
chin is not touching cold metal. Um, it's got the rubber butt pad here. So I think it I think it shoulders nice, you know, and even I've got a gimpy wrist brace. So if I can shoulder this, you can. Uh, I really like bull pops because you can get the longer barrel but cut off 10 inches of excess overall length. So of course with the longer barrel and longer air tube, you've got more power, uh, more shots, uh, a little better stability. As always, you've got your uh, uh, foreskin cover here and the standard fill probe that goes in and your PSI meter is on the front, just like all the other uh, AEA rifles, and I do believe it's in MPA, uh, which I use to gauge, you know, my tank, so I don't even pay attention to those. Uh, 4,500 PSI fill. I believe it's a five-shot setup, but we'll know once we start testing. Let's put it over here and get a closer look at the details. So we'll try to get a close-up here. Now, as you can see, here's a little catch that allows the bolt to come open. Now, under the spring tension, it's a lot harder to pull than that. I've already got it pre-cocked. There is where the magazine will sit, or if you're going to make a little single-shot tray. Now, I believe... The magazine size for a slug is 0.6 on bullet length. I'll have to verify that later. And if you're going to go single shot, you've got, looks like 887 to drop a single shot slug in there. So I know I've got some 350s, possibly the 385 that'll fit this, but. We don't know until we test. Uh, it's a sweet looking heavy duty bull pop, that is for sure. So, uh, these are some of the starting bullets that I'm going to play with. Uh, once I have the magazine in my hand, we'll figure out what fits and what doesn't. But at the moment, I've already check to see if this baby will fit and it will fit whether or not it likes it's another story but that's part of the fun of testing air rifles so gentlemen that is the end of the open box video um, we'll be doing some shooting later on but right now I just wanted to get something out there to show you the length the shape what it looks like and how it feels um, we'll do the power video will be the next video we do uh, I'll be testing a lot of different slugs single shot and with the magazine try to figure out the optimum you know bullet to air ratio for this beast uh, with that being said thank you AEA Mr. Hollow Point is out